Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. Today is classroom setup day seven. Is it day seven? Man, it's a lot of days. Um, typically, I only take like three or four days, but because I just moved into this classroom, it's taking a bit longer because um, there's a lot of organization to be done. But today is probably going to be maybe the last or like second to last day of actual setup after today, I'll be starting to work on like preparations for the beginning of the school year. So let me just walk you through what my plans are for today and we'll get started. All right, so my plans for today are going to finalize the walls. Um, so I asked y'all on YouTube comments to let me know what you think I should do with this back wall here. And I had a lot of comments and I just wanna say thank you guys so much for commenting and sharing your ideas. Um, they really do help. <laughs> and I just really appreciate your taking the time out to comment on the video. Um, many of you said that you wouldn't take the time to cover the entire walls with butcher paper. A lot of you recommended fabric, felt, um, and unfortunately in my district, we have a pretty strict fire marshal. Um, and so we aren't allowed to put fabric up on the walls um, unless it's like completely soaked in fire retardant, which is why these can go up because they are like officially fire retardant. Um, so what, I, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to do three separate bulletin boards. I'm going to do one here in the center. I'll do one here on this side and one here on this side. All three of them will be done with this wood paper. And then I'll just put different borders around them. These are the borders that I currently have. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is on the middle, I'm gonna do my light bulbs. And then one side will be teal and the other side will be black. Um, so I, I think that's just what I'm gonna go with. It's just simple and I'm not trying to be overly like, you know, that bulletin board is pretty bright um, and I just don't, I don't know. I've always been kind of like, I like, I like bulletin boards, but I never change them because I feel like the kids just don't use them. Um, and I'll be displaying student work out in the hallway. So these bulletin boards are going to be um, for decor purposes and like motivational um, if that makes any sense, which I'm sure it does. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what I'm planning on doing today. And then i uh, hopefully going to get all of my posters and pictures hung up in the places that they're going to be. And then the final task of the day is going to be to finish painting these cabinets. Um, as you can see, they're kind of scuffed up. They used to be like a maroon purple color, um, but then someone came and painted them. And they look great. Um, these two doors were painted already. So all I have to do is just go back and um, paint the rest. I don't really feel like I need to do much to the top. I mean, this one has a little bit of a scuff. Um, so I don't need to do much. This one definitely needs help. Um, so that's going to be one of my other tasks. And then I'm trying to, so it's pretty early in the morning. It's 8.15 right now. And I'm trying to kind of like ease back into like my work schedule. So I tried to be up out the door by seven so that I could start kind of like working on a normal schedule. Um, and so after school today or after work today, I'll leave here at like 3.30 and I'll go to the gym. Um, and so I'm really just trying to like get myself back into that routine of what it's like during the school year. So with that being said, I'm gonna get started. I think I'm gonna begin with this middle wall. I don't know what I'm gonna put on the walls yet. I have some ideas. I'm gonna rummage through my boxes and see if there's anything I can just reuse. Um, so I don't have to get the Cricut out, but I will probably end up having to get the Cricut out, which is fine. Um, you know, that's why we have the Cricut here. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, and then I'll show you guys some of the ideas I have. I'll just pop pictures up throughout the video and show you all what inspiration I have or what I want to copy. <laughs> um, I know I need to like reserve a place for brag tags. Oh, and I also want to put a bulletin board there. I have like a small square piece 
think it's this one. Maybe not. Um, but anyways, I have a really small square piece that I'll put over there and that'll be like a student center. Um, but I need to find a place to display brag tags. I don't know where I want to do that. I'm thinking maybe like over there on the wall. I don't know. I have to make a brag tag display. I'm pretty sure. So I don't know where I'm going to do that yet, but I definitely have to do that. So, all right, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and started on this smaller one because it's smaller. <laughs> I ended up having to trim off like a good section of it because of the door thing, but that's okay because now it like completely centers the piece. And then I will end up moving the clock um, over just a bit so that it's centered over the top of the bulletin board. So I'm gonna go back in now with this um, light bulb border and I even thought about doing like the pretty black one behind it, but I don't think I'm going to do that. It's just a lot of work. Um, so I am going to go ahead and go back over it with this and then we will see the finished product. Okay, so the board is done. I feel like this top corner and this bottom corner obviously need a little bit of work. So this is the moment where I start adjusting like this. I can just fix real easy, but like this, I can easily just stick a little pom-pom there and then that problem is solved. So I have these little guys and then I have all of these pom balls. Um, so all I need to do Let's pull one of the small ones out. I'll fluff it up and then I'll stick it on that corner and then that corner's perfect. <laughs> it gets fixed. <coughs> Whoa. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna put this little palm right here in this corner and then um, I won't have to adjust that border. But this top part I will adjust because I, I can see where I need to fix it.
Okay, so we have one bulletin board done. I feel like the clock could scoot a smidge to the left, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It looks pretty good. Um, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with this board. I'll probably make it like an info board. So like, I usually do like text tools, maybe like, um, like lunch menus, but I kinda wanna do the lunch menus over there um, and like the daily schedule or like the monthly calendar or whatever. And then here I can put like tech tools. I can put like grading information, like the grading scale, like a one, two, three, four, cause I'm gonna be doing standards based grading um, or standards referenced, I suppose. Um, so like, you know, four is mastery, three proficient, two partially and one minimal, um, just so that they know what those, you know, one, two, three, four mean. Um, and then I can just put like other useful student information here. Like I always put like a, I could also do this as like a relationship building board. So like I can put all my like, um, like strategies for a relationship stuff, like, you know, talk it out and stuff like that on here. I don't know, we'll see. This is like where my student supplies is. So if there's not something in here or if there's like, what you know, if they're low, they can come shop over here. So typically what I do is once I divvy out the supplies into the buckets, I put the rest in here. And then that way, if they need to like buy, like shop for something, like come get another highlighter, they come here. And then I always put lined paper and white paper here um, so that if they like lost their notebook, they can grab lined paper or if they want, or like if we're gonna do model drawing, they have like white paper. Um, so this is like a student center. Um, so we'll see. I do have the words student center that I could put over the top, um, but there is, the clock does need to be there. So I could even put student center over here and then put an arrow or something. I don't know, we'll see. I may not even put student center. Um, or I could make it smaller and put it across the top. We'll see. Okay. Um, all right, we're gonna move on to this back wall. And like I said, I still don't really know what's gonna go on each of these boards, but I am just gonna hang the paper and do the border today. I need a little quick drink. All right, so I'm gonna use this big piece to go here and I'm gonna center it. So I'm gonna measure it real quick and then try to center it on the tape, on the tape, uh, oh my goodness, the wall. And then hopefully I can hang it up by myself. We'll see. I'm gonna have to try to use the measurement method today just to make sure it's straight. Cause I am by myself and it's pretty large. So hold on tight, let's do it. like a point where the halfway mark was and then I rolled up the sides 
I pinned the, the middle on first and then I just rolled out each side and pinned those on. I did have to scoot it slightly over to the left of it so that I could get it like centered on the wall. Um, but it pretty much was foolproof and all I had to do was like shift the pins a little bit. So yay for me. <laughs> okay. So now what I'm going to try to do is put the border on. And I think for this wall, I'm going to do the light bulb border as well because I have a lot of it. Okay, you ready? <laughs> okay, so the wall's done. I'm going to put a cluster of palms there and a cluster of palms there. And then I like how the top came out like I could put a title up there or something we'll see um anyways it came out straight it came out flat so we're good okay so this is what the whole wall is looking like at this point okay don't kill me but I have a thought what if I didn't do another bulletin board what if I just left this one as the only one in here and on either side of the bulletin board, I did posters and pictures instead of more bulletin boards. Because let's be honest, I'm probably never gonna change it, maybe once or twice, because um, I just don't really think bulletin boards do anything, like the whole silent teacher thing. The kids just never use it. So I'm thinking about maybe just leaving it, and I have a ton of these picture frames that I really don't have space for anywhere else. So I was thinking, what if I did, let's see, how many do I have? One, two, I have six. Okay. These are from Maniac in the Middle. Are they Maniac in the Middle or Teaching and So Forth? I honestly do not remember, which is sad. But let's put them out. And I'm thinking, okay, I have five. Because then I put Darla in one, which I could take her out. It's no problem. I have six of them, typically, technically, six of them. I could put, like, two on this wall. And then two on this wall. And I could do something else there. Like, maybe I could do the brag tags there on, like, something I could even cut down some of this paper because I have a ton of it. I mean, you can see, this is like my favorite. I bought this one on Amazon thinking it was the same one and it's not, so that sucks. I'm gonna go take it to the teacher's lounge or see if one of my teammates wants it because it's cute, but I, I can't do not matching. So um, yeah, but I could cut one of these down and do like a small brag tag thing here, like maybe just a small square um, and just make it just the one center point piece. Because I also have these cute picture frames, which I think I'm gonna put these, because I have four of them, across there. And then I have some other posters that I could put up across there. It's either that or I put these, all six of them, like three on this side and three on this side. I don't know. I'm going to ponder the idea. I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to call Jennifer because Jennifer always helps. Okay. So I just realized that I had these posters. So I think what I'm going to do is put these either three on each side or up here, three on each side. Cause I have six of these and I have six of those. So right now it's just kind of deciding <laughs> which ones go where. I think I'll end up putting these ones back here cause there's more room and then these ones will fit nicely up top. It's just gonna be um, spacing them out. That's gonna be the struggle for me. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I went ahead and hung these centered on the wall and I actually really like it. So I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Um, with the other side, I have three more. So I'm gonna put those on that side and then I will put these six of these up across the top. I'll do three on that side and three on that side.
Okay guys, so I have painted the rest of the bottom cabinets. We probably won't be ready to put the handles back on till tomorrow. I just got done painting this bad boy. <laughs> Little drippy. Um, so I just have this side left to do and then this bottom here. This isn't too bad. I don't know, I have half a mind to just leave that alone. <laughs> um, Cause painting's hard, like it hurts my hands. Anyway, I'm gonna take a break from painting. I'm gonna eat lunch and then I'll go back to it. Hopefully I'll be done painting in an hour. I should be, cause it's only 12 now. Um, so I should be done in an hour painting and then I can continue decorating, hanging stuff up, finishing that. My goal is to be done decorating by tomorrow so that I can have tables clear and I can just start working on like fine tuning and maybe in a little bit planning would be great. So, all right, lunchtime. So I realized that I never ended today's vlog. So it is the next day um, and I'm all dolled up because I have to do a staff photo today. Um, but I wanted to close this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're not already, please subscribe and don't forget to follow my socials, Instagram, TikTok, all the things, and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.